Speaking of um, increasing your revenue streams, I noted in the release you spoke about bank assurance, you focused about on SMEs and mortgages as well. Um, but one of the things I remember coming up in your annual report last year was a focus on Islamic banking, expanding your offering mm -hmm. in that particular segment. How's that going? There's been a lot of work to really understand what customers want. Um, and we're actually, we'll be shortly announcing even a new bouquet of products that um, uh, customers I think will find exciting. When we looked at it, we found that in the market, there weren't as attractive asset-structured uh, uh, Sharia-compliant products. So uh, in the near future, we'll be actually announcing a new range of products um, that customers can actually come in. And I think it will tie well in particular to the asset finance strategies that we've had. We've, op we've opened, obviously, as you've seen, an asset finance center of excellence in industrial area. So I think we'll start adding those products into into that uh, asset finance uh, structure because the good thing from an Islamic perspective, there's a core asset involved. So risk management is usually a lot easier in that context. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. So there are going to be new products that are coming. I still think that it, uh, it, it offers uh, both Muslims and non-Muslims alike uh, an, an interesting uh, array of structures that they can consider because I think people think it's only for Muslim customers, not necessarily the case. How are you dealing with that perception problem? I mean, we just explain it to our customers. I think uh, maybe it's a perception issue for, for customers, but I think now as, as products evolve, then people will say, is, is this a product from a belief or a faith perspective that you want, or is it just a structure that you like? Uh, and I guess the customer will be able to decide. Why grow it organically within Barclays? Why not just acquire one of the two Islamic banks in the country? I mean, it's, that's always a, that's always something you need to weigh out, and you need to figure out if an acquisition is actually going to be accretive in terms of value to the shareholders. Yeah, um, right now, is it a huge business? It's not. Yeah, and the question is, you got to weigh that out against aggressively growing organically. Yeah, um, you know. So whenever you think about an acquisition, then you have to think about going through a, appropriate due diligence. You have to think about whether the culture of that organization would be a good fit with our organization, yeah? And then also the premium and whether it will add value to, to the shareholders. Um, and that has to be compared against, the, as I say, the organic option. Um, as of now, I think we wanted to, to also make sure that we were clear um, internally before we look at that option. And I think as of now, we're, we're more in favor of the organic, uh, the straightforward organic growth. I think that can deliver up to our uh, ambitions.